Hey, if you're not tracking your daily activity, my question for you is why? And I'm gonna spend the next several minutes showing you exactly why you should. I'm gonna sell you that you on the person that's not doing it on why you should be doing it. And by the end, you're gonna be like, dude, I'm sold. I'm in. I'm gonna start doing it every day. Okay, so I tracked my activity as a brand new agent. All right, we've talked about, hey, you made 117K when you were 20, right? All that. But I did it by number one, knowing my numbers and then actually going and figuring out that I needed to make $2,000 per week, right? That was $400 per day, five days, right? I would always work sometimes six or seven though, but I was part-time because I was in school. But when you think about this, the more important part is what type of activity did I need to do to hit those numbers? So I had learned that for me to hit $2,000 a week, I had to sit with 10 people and ask 10 people to buy, right? A lot of you know that, okay? I'm about to fast forward quickly, okay? But when I did that, then I figured out, what I started to learn is, okay, how many dials or knocks do I need to do to book an appointment, okay? And then, to, that's, that's a set appointment. How many do I need to set to actually have some sits? And then how many do I need to sit with to actually close deals? Okay, so, so when you start doing this math, you start figuring this out, all right? So even though, yes, I wanted to set 15, sit with 10, sell five, average $400 per sell, and hit my 2K, right? That was my goal. So every day I would write down, I will earn $2,000 this week, I will sit with at least 10 people this week, and I will earn 100, 100 grand this year, right? That was a decade ago, but I would put that every single day. I'm talking morning, night, I was writing it down, I was serious. But here's how I did that, okay? So I would have this, I would have what I would call this month tracker, right? And, and in, in this month tracker, I would have one week, two week, three week, four week, and then I would have a total down here, okay? And so I would break this up into days, all right? I would break this up into days, and then I would have a total, okay? So I would do like a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and you can tell I'm doing this quick, okay? Stay with me. And what I would do is I would go, and then this would even be a totals box, this whole thing. I would total up Mondays, Tuesdays, Wednesdays, Thursdays, Fridays. I would total up the week, and then I would have a total for the entire month, okay, right here. And I would get to where I would track my activity, and what I would track is, so let's just say on a Thursday, I would track in this quadrant format. So every day, I would put this cross in the middle of the day and I would track those things we talked about earlier, right? I would track my actual dials or knocks, right? What was the total? That was the, what was the total, okay? How many people did I actually sit with? That matters, right? I didn't track sets in that example. How many sales did I actually make and either how much AP or money or commission did I actually make by doing that, okay? And that's what I did every single day of an entire year. I kept it extremely, extremely fluid and consistent. I focused on finding out my numbers. I'm telling you, it's amazing. If you start tracking your activity, are you sold yet? If you start tracking your activity, it's unbelievable what you can learn, the things that you can start to notice. What I noticed back then is every Tuesday, I made a sell, right? Every single Tuesday. And I would get to where my best day was on a Tuesday. So I started looking, wow, I've got sales every Tuesday when I would put this quadrant in here, okay? Every sell, every, every Tuesday I have sales. Well, maybe it's because I was calling on like Friday, Saturday, Sundays, and then Mondays, I would, or I would have call nights on Monday nights. So I would be, I'd be, I would be prospecting Saturdays, Sundays, and Mondays, and Tuesdays would always be really full. Right? Well, if Tuesday's full, I've got to, if I'm sitting with more people on Tuesday, I have a better chance of making sales on a Tuesday, right? So by tracking my activity and using this monthly activity tracker, I would get to where at the end of the month, I knew that, hey, I had done you know, 3,000 dials, or I'm making that up, okay? I'm not saying that was my number, right? But I would, oh, and then I, oh wow, you had sat with 48 people, about 12 a week, in that example. My, my minimum was 10, by the way, sales, Oh wow, you made about um, 16 sales and you earned about $9,000, all right? Let's just use that as an example. But I got to where I knew 
every single day what I did. Well, what does this do? When you start tracking it like this, what does this do? It forces you to focus on the day, right? No one likes to come up here and say, oh crap, on a Friday I had a giant flipping big old goose egg. Oh, and on Wednesday I did it again, and oh, this week totally sucked, so I had a flipping zero. Like nobody wants to do that, right? But, 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 but what this does is it subconsciously makes you focus on what you're doing every day, every week. And what I've learned it was that when you have a target and when you have to focus on it, it helps you be consistent. Okay. And when you have a target, when you become more focused, when you're consistent, guess what? You start making a lot more money because of you are so hyper focused on the result that it's like everything falls in line because that's what you want to do in that moment. Okay. So that's what I did to actually track my activity each day, each week, and each month. Now, let me move to any time there was like a bonus or a trip. So maybe your company does bonuses or trips or a commission bump or a trip to Mexico, right? Or whatever, right? I would always use this. Okay. So when I was wanting to make a hundred grand my first year, um, I would draw like a box. Okay. I would draw like a box. And in this box, I would have $100,000 was up here. You know, here's 90, 80, 70. You get the idea, right? You know, 20, 10, zero, right? And I would start here every year. And then every week, I would go update this. Now you're at 5,000. Now, and I would even put the date range that I should be on track. So at, at, so at 50K by... 7 1, I needed to be here, right? Well, maybe it's April and you're only at 20. Well, I'm a little bit behind because I should be at least at 25 to 30, right? You get the idea. So I would have numbers that I was tracking on the side along with the actual date that I should be there. And I'm telling you, the best way to win a trip or a contest or a competition or money is to track it, right? It's to track it by numbers and by dates and then oh wow big secret it's to stay ahead when i stayed ahead and i got off to a fast start and i stayed ahead then i always had success at tracking my activity and hitting these goals i would always win i was winning every single trip and people were asking me dude why are you winning the trip because i know what i need to do every day and every week to hit the trip and guess what i'm doing it right it ain't rocket science okay now what I also did in a similar fashion, in a similar fashion as I dropped the eraser, is say that there's a trip, right? So I used to be with a company to where they would give away a, a trip to the World Series, okay? And, and my first two years, I was considered a rookie for this World Series competition, right? And they were going to take the top, I think it was the top um, seven, I believe. I could be wrong, okay? That's been a long time ago. Out of... Um, I think like 700 rookies every year and they would take them to the World Series. So my first year, I think I went to Detroit and the second year, uh, freaking had to go to St. Louis and I'm living in Missouri. Okay. So I was a little disappointed, but whatever. Right. And so the, but you had to do 30,000, you had to do 30,000 in a matter of, I believe it was, um, it was like. It was like 12, it was like, it was like, uh, I don't know. It was like eight to 12 weeks. Okay. I don't remember the exact time frame, but it was like eight to 12 weeks. It was over the summer and I would always start at zero. Well, I got to where I figured out what I needed to do. So, so look, 7,500, 15,000, 5. And I got to where I would fill in these other gaps here and I would have dates every step of the way. Same idea. But I got to where literally, bam, I need to be here half, you know, five weeks in or whatever it was. But I got to where I would move me around the bases on the baseball diamond to track my activity for the contest. It helps to visually see something. I'm telling you, you have to visually see what's going on. That's the biggest thing. That's the biggest takeaway out of everything is you not only do you have to, okay, know what do I want to do? You have to track it. 
you have to write it down every single day. Not sometimes, not sometimes. And then you have to visually be able to see it. So when you walk in your office or when you wake up every day, you got to see it to remind you, oh, that's what I'm working towards today. That's what I got to do today. That's my focus, right? That's my why. Okay. Now, if you want more training exactly like this, then do me a favor. I'm going to do a, something special for you and I'm going to throw in a free strategy call. Okay. Go to CodyAskins.com forward slash sales system. Okay. I've created an, a sales training system for insurance agents to blow up their business, to close more deals and to get phenomenal, right? We had a, we had a, we had a gentleman, 21 year old agent that just jumped on our sales training system. And literally the next week, he wrote $13,000 in premium. He used to struggle and fail. Now he's going to make over 10 grand a month every month because he's on the sales training system. And I have a video to prove it. All right. So go to this CodyAskins.com forward slash sales system. And I'll see you there. Hey, there's five things. I mean, five things that you have to do today. They're right there. If you don't know what they are, I'll see you in there. I don't care who you are, where you're from, where you're at. How long you been in the business of five things you absolutely have to do right now? I'm gonna go over all five of them, okay? From least important to most important as well as